well, you know, we here in the Northwest, we always complain about the rain. But I must say, uh, out of everybody in the country, we've really had the best weather. The winter was mild. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it quits raining, it just quits raining. But it, Midwest and mm -hmm. East, it went from spring storm, winter storms to spring storms yeah. to... Speed. I mean, just on and on and yeah, on. That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And, and and so back to back to what we what we do sometimes. Uh, do you have to you have to ask to get information, or does it just pop up for you? I what I do. Um, I I wait first. It depends on the reading. Sometimes things they just come out of the blue, just plot. You know, and, and and I cannot, I do not have a switch to turn it off and on. What some people think, uh -huh. like, oh, you are psychic. You, no, that's not how it works. Um, when I do a reading, um, I let I let the spirits talk first, whatever they want to tell me, and then I ask, can I ask you uh -huh. to get permission? Because I I do not want to interfere there, yeah. private. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of rules because there are laws too. What you can do and and not. You should never ask, uh, for example, when does so and so die? Because does he loves me? Person. Yes. Does he love me? I don't care if he loves you. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, yeah. See, uh, let's address this for a minute. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people. Uh, come for readings now. Uh, I have actually seen people that had uh, was given really valuable information mm -hmm. and um, and then you say uh, you know maybe it had to do with money or uh, something else they needed to do mm -hmm. and then it's so valuable it's like a road map you know for them and then you said do you have any questions and then they said does my boyfriend love me? And mm -hmm. I want to be rude. I want to say, Did, you didn't hear what I told you. Mm. It just doesn't sink in mm -hmm. that, you know, when you have that, when, when you have the privilege of asking questions from somewhere, and they ask you a stupid question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, when, when I talk to, with the spirit, you really have to watch your words or you get a different answer. Uh -huh. I I don't know an example right now, but then then people tell they're kind of disappointed because they wanted to hear something else, but they ask the questions wrong. But they ask the questions, so, yeah. so rephrase your questions. So yeah. Do you ever want to be normal? I don't think they let me. Yeah. No, I, I don't. don't. I don't want to be normal either. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy world, but it carries a lot of responsibility for mm -hmm. those of us that... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of responsibility, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, and what people don't know, they're scared of, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, we all had that, that we got called witch or you are evil. Nobody ever called me a witch, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I had that. Uh -huh. Yeah, but but, it, but America, uh, it, it's set up a little different. All the other countries, they have, mm -hmm. they have medicine men and yeah. shaman, and that's part of. They revered, you yeah. know, just yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, what they don't understand is, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, if I were a witch, I would fly around on the balloon right now. So, yeah, yeah. But you know, America is our home of choice. Yeah. So we just have to deal with it. Yeah. Hmm? Well, people are more open here than in Europe. In Europe, you still have that medieval thinking, you know. You don't. Uh, I yeah. didn't find that at all. Some people, yeah, they but, don't understand. Yeah, like 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 in in England, they have uh, they have mediums in church, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that. But then my whole family was like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I maybe we just maybe I just never noticed, you know. Rosie is also the lady that uh, has had the beautiful jewelry. Uh, mm -hmm. We already showed you that. 
So if you like to, uh, if you need to get a hold of her, she has a MySpace. You can go to my site and jump right to hers. Mm -hmm. And um, and um, you found, we, we have like a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. How did you find me? How I found Lerlin? Okay, um, I went on in on MySpace and I met Claudia. That's your niece. CK, yeah. And the only reason I wrote Claudia was because she had this medieval wedding dress on. Uh, yes, she did. <laughs> and she wrote, "I'm Native American and I live in <laughs> Germany." And I said, "Oh, a Native American in Germany? That's interesting. I'm here." And I'm from Germany, and there she is in Germany, and she's Native American. So with a medieval dress. With a medieval dress, and and I thought that is so neat. And so Claudia and I we start writing, and she told me, you, you have to meet my weird aunt in America. So that's how I. <laughs> and now we talked about it. I said, okay, that's I'm weird. We she's weird. Here. Claudia is weird. Medieval. So we yeah. So we fit, right? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. a camera person is Miss Lisa. I, I'm not going to ask you anything. I just want to tell you thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Because if it wasn't for you, you just had a birthday, and we're going to make you miss your birthday <laughs> dinner if we don't get going. I uh, hope you enjoyed the inserts. And um, what else did I say? I hope you have a safe trip home. My buzzer yeah. is going to go off any minute here. Okay. You have a safe journey home. You come back and see us next year. Even before then, it doesn't it doesn't matter. And so, I was glad to take you the ring around the rosary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. See you next week. Oh, if we have a couple of minutes, we'll give you some power on music house. Oh, great. Cool. No? Yeah. Okay. Next week. Bye. Bye.
Take us here, and you take us down. 